I'm Dr. Sugar, your internet doctor, here to give you your dose of medical inspiration for the day. Thank you for joining us. Our topic is trigger point injections. So not only are we going to talk about this today, we're actually going to do trigger point injections today. And I'm sure you can't wait. So let's get started, shall we? Trigger point injections are used to treat areas of the muscles that are very painful. These muscles have gotten contracted and are now in a spasm and for whatever reason they're just not relaxing as they're supposed to. Now when this happens it can be a very painful condition that we often call myofascial spasm or myofascial pain syndrome. Normal muscle is supposed to contract and relax when it's active. A trigger point occurs in a muscle when um, when this muscle it doesn't relax like it's supposed to so it contracts and in this area it begins to feel to you or to me if I'm touching your trigger points like a knot or even a ropey tight muscle band and this forms like I said when the muscle fails to relax the knot can often be felt under the skin and it may even twitch involuntarily when touched this is called a jump sign the trigger point can be very painful because it can sometimes trap a nerve in it or it can just be very irritating to the surrounding nerves. This is called referred pain which just means that the pain is felt in other areas of the body due to the nerve irritation. So for example, a trigger point in the neck or shoulder could cause pain radiating up into the head. Now in some cases, scar tissue, loss of range of motion and weakness can develop over time as well. So many doctors have flip charts or they have um, different things on the wall or they just may have done enough of these that they in their mind know where the different radiation patterns go to. But I have a flip chart that I use a lot of times and uh, if a patient is describing what I consider to be a trigger point syndrome or pain in a referred pattern which I feel could be caused by a trigger point then oftentimes I will uh, take a look at this flip chart just to make sure that that we're on the same track and I share this a lot with my patients so for instance let's say that a patient has pain that's always occurring behind their eye behind their right eye and it this pain is a headache pain that comes along the right side of their head, the right side of their face, and they're having these chronic headaches perhaps from this or this pain. Well, if they're also tender in their neck right here in their upper trapezius muscle, I know that by injecting some medication into this trigger point, we can oftentimes assist with this pain pattern. If you notice, these red dots would be where they're experiencing the pain. So in another particular example, if a patient is having a lot of pain in the back of their head, it may be due to a trigger point on their neck. So that's just a couple of examples. There's hundreds of those in this book that I refer to. But that just gives you an idea of the different pain patterns that can come from trigger points. They can be all over the place. Sometimes people just think they're having headaches or people just think they're having um, pain in their neck, pain in other areas, and it can all be all be uh, assisted with some very simple trigger point injections. So trigger point injections are often done by your doctor to assist or attempt to decrease myofascial pain syndrome. Now that's just a fancy doctor word that means chronic muscle pain. Trigger point injections may be considered especially in circumstances where your pain does not respond to other treatment. So some people swear by trigger point injections and they come in even monthly to have them done saying that this really is the only thing that helps with their pain. Um, there does still remain some debate over the actual effectiveness of trigger point injections but I find for many people when other things haven't helped that they can get good results. Many muscle groups can be treated with trigger point injections. They are most commonly done in the shoulder, neck, upper back, lower back, and hips, but are also occasionally done in the arms and legs as well. I generally see much less discomfort from the patient and also better results when doing larger muscles. So in addition to the myofascial pain syndrome that we talked about earlier, trigger point injections are also occasionally done to treat fibromyalgia and tension headaches. I'm Dr. Sugar. 
Be sure to watch part two of our series on trigger point injections. In the next section, I will go into a lot more detail on how trigger points are done and what you can expect when you go in for your visit. So make sure to watch, and I'll see you there. Sugar.